to prophesy. Anyone believing God for an empire, if you shout them and receive your help, I came to prophesy over 4,000 people. Your amen will change your position for everything that you have started. Can I pray for you? You will complete it in a hurry. I came with that. I want children. Anyone believing God for the fruit of the womb, carry your children. Zechariah chapter 3 verse 1. Are you there? Yes. He said, Lord, and he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. Hello? What was the adjective that was used to qualify Joshua? The high priest who resisted him. Talk to me, church. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuked thee. O Satan, even the Lord that had chosen Jerusalem rebuked thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garment and stood before the angel. Joshua, as the Bible had judged, was an high priest, but was resisted by the devil. In Zechariah 3 3, the Bible told us why. He said, Because he was putting on a filthy garment. I want to share briefly this morning as an introduction to the journey of freedom. As an introduction to the journey of promotion. As an introduction to the journey of somebody's testimony. As an introduction to the journey of somebody's <laughs> some a family's jubilation. As a, as, 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 as a journey I'm introducing. The limitations are about to be broken from your life. I don't know who you are but I know who he is. I stand in agreement on that grace. I decree from this day. It shall be forward ever back what never it shall be forward ever backward never i prophesy your whatever grace or gift that god has put upon you any limit to that effect it is broken take your seat i went to the house of a, of a man of god and when i got there the man of god has two big dogs how many dogs? I don't know their name, whether they are Rottweilers or they are Doberman. But I know that he has two big dogs whose ability and capability cannot be undermined. But when we came, the dog roared, but the cage was a limitation. No matter the security dog that you have if you fail to release them at the time they are supposed to walk you may be afflicted because they are limited I am not against your prophecy neither your strength we have seen men of strength frustrated because they have been limited we have seen people with PhD sit and turn it to pull him down because of limitation. Am I speaking here today? We have seen pretty ladies, single, and ladies that can't be compared to you in beauty are getting married. Why? There must be a limit that needs to be lifted. I don't know who placed an embargo on your destiny. I don't know. But I know who can lift the embargo. Am I speaking here at all? There are many of you that God has helped. They are the grace of God and our Father that is at work through His choice servant, your pastor. But there's somebody who walked into church this morning that God is interested in your destiny. The 
there is somebody that in the next few days who is going to be dancing without the music there is somebody who is about to sing a new song there is somebody who is about to be congratulated you are the one i came for am i speaking to someone yes, can i say this when the voice of your praise leader is cracked can you enjoy what he carry talk to me church suddenly the man that is mighty to perform suddenly steps on the altar and is he's God he's God he's God will you allow him continue how many great men have been stopped because of their limitations how many times opportunity has come but your limitation play out to itself this is why I came because somebody is it's your due time to be celebrated oh I say it's your due time to be celebrated oh the Bible says in John chapter 5 the man said he said I have no man I have no man I have no man his limitation was that there was no man that can take him into the pool miracles happen he testified that things are happening in the pool but he could not get a miracle because he has no man there are many of you here you can testify that the hand of God is upon your prophet that the grace of God is in this house that miracles happen testimonies happen but what is happening to your life I understand that for some persons it may be God taking his time but when your time come and your manifestation does not happen then the limit needs to be broken am I talking to somebody that limit will be destroyed in this meeting Joshua was resisted the devil takes advantage of limits that have been put in certain dimensions Pastor Azemi repeatedly we keep talking about destroying the foundation because it doesn't matter how beautiful you are your foundation can be your limitation oh somebody didn't hear me I say your foundation can be your limitation it doesn't matter how wonderful you are your foundation the Bible says if the foundation be destroyed shall the righteous do the first point I want to say I will rush through some things this morning and in the course of my other meetings we'll be dealing with certain matters practically because something definite must happen for somebody Amen. Oh, this day shall be somebody's miracle birthday Amen. this month shall be your month for the birth of a miracle Amen. there is somebody in your life you will live to remember July I said you will live to remember July because it shall be said that this is the month we are the grace of God on our father in agreement with his two sons came to pass in your life I said you are making progress in a hurry if you believe it change your seat change your seat just move to move forward and move back. Take your seat in Jesus' name. Hear me, hear me. Just sit down, sit down, sit down. Father, we love you. Can I say something? Can I say something? How many of you drive? How many of us drive? If you drive, wave your hand. Have you ever been in a situation where you are running to the airport or running somewhere to catch an appointment and suddenly the traffic light is showing red? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. And the government police is standing by your side. You are watching your time for your appointment but the light is against you. Your car is ready to fire but the light says stop here. That's a limitation. Let me share some three points that we are going to be dealing with. Number one, there are limitations from birth. Somebody said limitations from birth. Limitations from birth. 
in first chronicles chapter 4 of verse 9 to 10 the bible spoke about jabez jabez was honorable but was limited why because of the way the mother gave birth to him so his limitations was from his bed i might speak it to somebody here his limitation was from his bed i often say to people your name can be your limitation your name abraham had an encounter with god but abraham would not have fulfilled destiny if his name was not changed when was he named he was named from birth they called him abraham and when god wanted to use him god said i can't use abraham because your name is a limit to your life sarah's name became a limit to her life that god had to change her name from sarai to sarah meaning the mother of nation if you read your bible the bible says, and jacob wrestled with the angel till daybreak how many of us have done all kinds of visions? You have prayed and prayed that you can't understand what the battle is. I don't know who is like Jacob in the house. Who needs to hold the angel until your name is spotted and changed? Am I talking to somebody here? And the angel said, Jacob, let me go. And Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And the angel said, okay, I will bless you. But I have a challenge. And Jacob said, what is the challenge? He said, your name is a limit. Jacob means supplanter. He said, what I want to do with you does not conform with the name from your birth. And the Bible says, he said, from this day, you shall be called Israel. As soon as the arrow from his birth was lifted, his destiny changed. I have said it before. There are some of you that carry very good names. How do you say in Benin, only God can help you? If that is somebody's name, how do you pronounce it? Eh? Your help is from God. How do you say it? Can a Benin person talk to me? Eh? Orobosa. Is it true? Orobosa or Yobosa? Talk to me, church. Orobosa. Communication needs to get some feedbacks. Irobosa. Uyobosa. Is that what you said? Can I ask you a question? Uyobosa, is it a good name? By the interpretation, it's a good name. But it's pending on the condition under which you were named. Because maybe your father was serving a deity. And they named you in the order of the deity. So on that such condition, you need to handle that foundation. In my place, there is a particular child, if they give birth to her, they call her Odwaki. Odwaki means somebody where they carry market. And when such a person begins to behave like the market, because the market people will gather, suddenly everybody will disappear. The person is asking, what is my problem? Who called you Odoki? There are certain tribes, if they give birth to the seventh daughter, they call her Agbisi. If they give birth to the seventh son, they call them Ogbewe. If you go back to history lane and check what becomes of such people, if they don't have a revelational understanding to such foundational limitations, they keep suffering for life. In my place, there is a woman that will give birth to the Ukola Adegbe. Oh, somebody didn't hear what I said. What did I say? Adegbe means, can it, somebody say it? Huh? Adegbe means, okay, you said it. Adegbe means a woman. Where not they stay with one man? Yes. Does not stay with one man. Am I speaking this morning? And such a lady begins to grow up and begin to experience a limitation. Men will come and go. She does not understand that there is a limit that was placed from birth. Jabez was suffering, 
Bible says he was more honorable than his brethren. But Jabez had the limitation. Why? Because the mother called him sorrow. The way he was born. In my small life in ministry, one day somebody walked into my office, a young man, and while we were talking, the spirit of the Lord came upon me, like I'm believing him for this morning. And he said to me, and I said to the young man, I said, the meaning of your name means a chair. And the boy said, he said, I've never given it a second thought. Can I tell you what a chair means? It means suffer, 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 suffer. And the young man was suffering. Can you imagine? A mother called him. He called him Jabez. He said, in sorrow that I bear him. And the boy was going through sorrows until he had an encounter. Nothing changes destiny like a genuine encounter. That's why I came in agreement with the grace on this house. Under the grace of our father. There will be a change in your favor. God bless you. Hallelujah. This is the voice of the son of the oracle. Pastor Azemi Azena coming your way using this video to reach you, to specially invite you to worship with us at Omega Fire Ministry, Plot 2, Wayek Road, at Duawa. Child of God, listen to the special and crucial program that we are organizing just to transform your destiny. Every Sunday by 6.30 a.m. is our celebration service. Have you been asking God, when will I celebrate? Child of God, this Sunday, be my guest at the time is 6.30 a.m. Every Monday, I'm organizing a powerful service to attack barrenness. Anyone that the doctor said you can't carry your baby is stuck and must dedicate my baby. Hebrew Women Meeting is 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Every Tuesday by 4.30 p.m. is our word encounter. And don't forget, every Friday is Operation Jabe. And Jabe cried and God helped Jabe and changed the destiny of Jabe. And every fourth Saturday, but I bet you, you could not make it to come on Monday. Every first Saturday of every month, I am still repeating a program attack. I must dedicate my baby. We are repeating it to just make sure that those who are not around on Monday can be part of it. Every first Saturday of every month, you can come this very Saturday that is coming now, and God will go to locate you and give you your baby. And let me say this to you now: every second Wednesday, second. Thursday, second Friday of every month is a powerful program that I've been doing for years now. It's called our Fire Night and Miracle Night. And all these programs are in one venue. And where is that? Omega Fire Ministry, Lotu Wayek Road at Duawa. I don't know what somebody has said about you, but I want to say this to you that God is still saying something. If I see your face in any of these services, I know you can never go back the same. God bless you. Good to know you are there. And I'm waiting to welcome you. God bless you. Sit down. Sit down. And as soon as Jabez came, that matter was addressed. His destiny changed. There are times the vigils are very important. The prayer meetings are important. The confession of the word is important. The prophecy is very relevant. But when the limit is not addressed, extent, access, will always be denied. Am I talking to somebody? Imagine Papa was sharing with us of a man who slapped his pastor. And the pastor looked at him and said, The God that called me will call you. That was all he said. Something happened to the man and he answered the call of God. He has forgotten after many years. And the man went to, they posted him to his place to start his ministry. And to start a branch or something. As soon as he got to the place, something happened. The man that came to receive him gave him slap to welcome him. Am I talking to somebody? Everywhere he went, slap was part of his coming. He go pray, pray, pray. They go use slap, they said to run. He was going through pain. He was praying against it. But it was not lifted until it was recognized that there was a limit that has been placed on his destiny by virtue of a spoken word. Am I talking here today? I don't know the limit you are suffering. Whether somebody cost you or you cost yourself today, that limit is broken. Says when Rachel 
was it Rachel, was pregnant and was in labor to deliver Benjamin. Because of what she went through, she called him Benoni. And the father who don't go through deliverance before has an understanding. He said it can't happen in this house. You won't call him Benoni. I know what I suffered by virtue of limitations from birth. This is how my mother limited me. Called me Jacob. My father limited me. Called me Jacob. Benjamin will not suffer the same thing that I suffer. And he said his name shall not be called Benoni. It shall be called Benjamin. What does that mean? The strength of my right hand. Can I say something? These days, eh, the names where would they give children a dictionary? Hebrew word, very good. But when I want to do baby dedication, you know the question I used to ask? Where is the name that your father sent or your mother? As much as I know that as a mother you can call your baby flourish because it has a scriptural meaning and a dictionary definition. It has an Hebrew undertone or a Latin explanation. But the name that your mother sent or your father has a foundational connection. There is a woman here. You have a daughter called Omonigo. If you are here, come. Omonigo. Don't waste my time. If you check that name, it has an occasion attached to it, it has a revelation. Your native name has a foundational connection more than your English name. Your English name eh, was given to you in the order of where you are going to. Most times your native name has a connection with where you are coming from. Am I speaking to somebody? Is somebody in church this morning? And he said, Jacob, have been through? said his name shall not be called. Call him Benjamin. If you read your Bible, when Jacob came to the house, to, to, to Egypt, and Joseph brought Manasseh and Ephraim for him to pray for them. And while Jacob brought them, he put the eldest son on the right and put the younger on the left. The eyes of Jacob were dim, but pattern not the blind. Foundation not the blind. Oh, somebody didn't hear me well. I say foundation, not the blind. The Bible says, and Jacob crossed his hands. And Jacob, the Bible said Joseph was angry. Because he understand what in the apple. Nothing helps you come out of limitation like knowledge. Let me rush through some things. I said number one, limitation from belt. Number two, limitation from parental causes. Genesis 49 verse 3, you remember? That was where Reuben was caused. There are some of you today, what your children are going through is a product of the cause that you are placed on them. Some were conscious, some were unconscious. Do you know at times when you are angry, there are words you say to your children, that has become their undoing today. I said to somebody, one day, I walked into the lift with a man of God. After we have done all night prayers, we had a, a program and we prayed and we did what we did. While we entered the lift in the place where we were lodged, the young man pressed zero and made a statement. He said, man of God, we are going down. I said, point of correction, I'm not going down. And he was amazed the way I reacted. I said, we are not quarreling. I said, do you mean after all the fasting and prayer, 
all night that we did is for you to come and give me a prophecy of going down. I said, I refuse it. And I said to him, sir, say we are going to the lobby. We are not going down. There are times when you told your daughter, it no go better for you. You are praying, make it better, but you don't prophesy, may no better. Don't be ignorant that we have the devil, the adversary, who is going about looking for who to devour. The devil is not powerful. He takes our leg, his leg hold is our carelessness. That's why there are some of us when the prophet pick our children and they tell your children your problem is your mother. You are crying and saying, how can I, this breast that you suck, I carried you for months, is because what your daughter or your son is going through, is it was granted, that permission was granted by you when you told your daughter you go yeah, yeah for life. So when you said it, demonic forces heard it and they began to afflict your daughter with it. Everywhere they go, now your world is suffering. So that is what they keep saying. Am I talking to somebody? That's what the Bible says. Let your world be season with there are limitations that are parental in connection how many of you know the devil said to God you are built and hedge around him is it true eh? Job was untouchable Job was unafflictable but as soon as God gave the permission Satan got access. Stop permitting the enemy to afflict your children. No matter how angry you are, why not turn your evil statement into a prayer point? Am I speaking here? Oh, somebody's not in church. I, 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 a woman was, I was around and a woman was addressing her first child and she was angry and she began to speak to the baby and I said to the woman, woman, stop it, stop it, stop it. And the woman was looking at me. I said, this is your first daughter. First of all, the battle of first daughters cannot be comprehended. I said, don't complicate the destiny of your daughter. She was angry and began to say, she will never do the good writing she no go better for her and i said madam you don't talk like that this statement you are making now because the devil has already made you a target because of your prayer life your night vigils your sacrifice your commitment he has not been able to gain access but when you start talking like this the devil assess your children and when it begins to work when they bring the devil before the judgment seat devil goes say no be me now mama am i talking to somebody my Mama go say no be me. Then when they replay the record, it happened so 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 yeah. When you began, you were angry and you rain curse on your son. You rain curse on your daughter. The devil took hold of the archives and began to play the record. It was stored in the cloud and the devil. You may forget when you said it, but there are demonic monitoring spirit that hold on to divine evil statement just to bring limitation to destiny. I decree. The Bible says, for every ordinances that were written against us, it blotted them out. Every evil statement of limitation that has worked against you, working against your children, by the blood of Jesus, we wipe it! Yeah! Kima, Kima, if your daughter is here, go and bring her. Quickly. Quickly. Somebody say, parental limitation. parental limitation. Say it like you mean it. Parental limitation. And Jacob said to Reuben, the excellency of my power, unstable as water. He said, thou shalt know it. That was all that was said. That became the limitation of Reuben's generation until a prophet came and said, let Reuben live and not die. Let Reuben live and not die. There are some of you who you need to take out some time by the virtue of this revelation to fast and change the decree. If I give you time to think, you will agree with me that many of your children 
are acting in line with what you told them. Go back and check that your daughter. A woman had a doctor who was, by the English word, was wayward. The woman keep insulting the daughter. You are a prostitute. It cannot be well with you. The more the mother kept insulting and beating her, the more the lady keep entering into the street. One day the daughter came back, as usual, and the mother received her. I'm not against rebuking a child. Bible says, spell the rod and spoil the child. And the mother said to the daughter, do you know this is not you? And the daughter took a, was laid back. He said, the girl I gave birth to is not you. I'm praying for you because I know there's something about you that the devil is fighting. And when she began to speak positively to the daughter, after a few months, one day the daughter came back. Those words came to her subconscious and to her conscious. And she came back to mommy. He said, mommy, I want to know more about the me that you gave birth to. If you say this life is not the life that you gave birth to, what is the life? And he sat the daughter down and began to tell her, this is who you are. That day, the wardrobe changed. Her friends changed. She no longer goes to club. She now goes to church. She became a choir member because the mother told her that you have a voice to sing for God, not to sing in the club. That was how the destiny was changed. The Bible says in Psalm 82, Know ye not that ye are God's. If we say we are God's, then can we understand the workings of God? In Genesis chapter 1, the Bible says, let, God said, let there be light, and there was light. In John chapter 1, and God said, and the Bible says, in the beginning was the word. The word was God, and the word was with God. There was nothing made that was made without the word. So if you are God's, then your words carry creative power. on us by the words that have been spoken over us. Can I rush this? Number three. Limitation from authority. Okay. Number three. Limitation from authority. Matthew 27 verse 64 to 66. If you read that part of the scripture, the Bible says, the king said, he says, seal the tomb so that he by no mistake resurrect. Who placed that limitation? It was the king in authority. There are many persons who should be careful what you get from authority. Because the pronouncement of authority can make your resolution prolonged if God does not intervene. Number what? Talk to me, church. I said number five Limitation by self Number four Limitation by what? Self How many of you know that some of us What we are suffering today Is an I don't care life Something happened That you would have said the truth You said if now me take and make I know better for life Whereas now you take her You escaped it yesterday But it's suffering you today limitations are connected they are self-inflicted it takes a prophet to let you know one time there was a prophetic meeting and the man of God picked a lady by prophecy and said to her the reason why you are not yet celebrated is that you made a vow a few years ago of 3,000 naira that you refused to redeem listen to me spiritual things are terrific and dangerous don't joke with it if you don't mean it don't come out for it stop placing a limitation on your destiny because you want to escape immediately stop 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 let me rush through the other one. 
Number. Talk to me, church. Number what? Five. I said limitation by your enemies. It can be dealt with. Acts chapter 23, verse 12. The Bible said there were 40 men who made a vow that over their dead body we saw become, we manifest. There are limitations that enemies have done through the means of a ballistic or a ballista. But in this journey, for a few days, it will be corrected. Amen. Oh, somebody didn't hear me well. Amen. I wrote on number six, I said limitation by hereditary. Somebody say hereditary. hereditary. Oh, somebody's not here. Tap your neighbor, say, tap your neighbor. Say, have you dealt with your foundation squarely? Have you gone through the principles of the teachings? Don't joke with certain revelations that come from our Father in the Lord and your pastor is for your good and for your destiny. Matthew 27, 24 to 25. Hello, church. Listen to me. Matthew 27, 24 to 25. You know what the people said? When they brought Jesus to be crucified and the king said, I have found nothing wanting in him. The people said, let his blood be upon them. And what? They are children, children. Those children were not born as at that time. But their parents entered into a limitation agreement that when they come alive, they will come and carry with their head. There are certain persons whose parents made a covenant with a palm tree. That as long as this tree is growing, my daughter will grow. And suddenly they came to construct road in your village. And they pulled the tree. Now your destiny don't fall. You are asking what is the problem? Who entered this on my behalf? Thank you for watching Tony Poe with Pastor Azeme Azena, the son of the Lord.